What's going on, y'all? This is uh, Maurice Bishop, and today we're going to play some Bullet. Um, as y'all can see, I'm not 2300 no more. Uh, I'm actually 2285. So, yeah, y'all. Um, but now I just got to, you know, get back on my and start some smart moves. So, so that's pretty much what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to just go H4. All right. We'll just go H5. I'm going to show you what I'm about to do. Okay, so he didn't fall for it. And he can't take with, um, I was going to say, he can't take with the bishop because I would have went G4 um, hitting his uh, light square bishop. I would have tracked it. So that was the whole point of it. So we'll go bishop E3. All right, and um, let's go ninety two. All right, so we'll go to D two. Mm. Okay, he does wants to get in here. So what is what is what is the plan? What are what are we trying to do? Uh, well. All we're trying to do is uh, we want to get to the king. So what is the plan? How are we going to do that? All right. So uh, number one, we want to develop our pieces, which is one that we need to do. Um, kind of figure who's going to do that one. So he does have this check over here. So we'll just go bishop e3, defend his own d4 pawn. And then if he goes g3, I might actually be happy with this one for a for all. We'll go d5. We will go d5. Why this? Well. The whole point of, um, see, this is the thing. This is, oh, no siree. Okay, so he want to thread mate here. Well, if I if I go bishop f two, that'll be a blunder. He'll mate me. So I'm gonna take, and then um, I'm gonna have to go d two. Oh my goodness! How did I blunder that? I have no idea, guys. I have no idea how I blundered that. Um, if I take, he got bishop h3 check, but, but how would he do? Would he go queen h1 first? Do it anyway. Because if he comes here, I still got knight g1, I still got bishop g1. He doesn't have enough pieces on a board to... To get me right now. All right, so we, we we're definitely coming to King E one without a sing, without a doubt. We're definitely doing that. All right. Um. Yeah, we're just gonna come and we're just gonna exchange. We're just gonna exchange pieces. That's exactly what we're going to do. All right. I see three. D four. So that's what we're going to do. Got a call. Rook H1. All right, so 92. Go rook f1. And what we want to do, we want to come here. So we go knight f3. All right, but now he did that. All right, that's fine. Or maybe that wasn't fine. <laughs> the 
this is what we're gonna we're gonna take and we're just gonna take this we get them in check and to g2 and of course he's gonna try to go to on um, the wrap around And if he takes, we got him. That's how we do it. That's how we do it, y'all. I'll uh, just come here. we we'll come here. Uh, yeah, so we just get him on time. I could have probably made him and things like that, but... You know when you have time trouble and everything, it becomes crazy. So <laughs> didn't want to do that. So all right, y'all. So that was a good first one. All right, I got a big dome. Wow, that's um crazy. Oh yeah, I know somebody just said they want me to play the black line in this, so that's what we're gonna do. Uh, if they allow me to do it, uh, I should have just did d six first, but we'll probably. See, we could still play it. All right, so we'll still play it. Yeah, by now y'all should already know the setup of how we do things here. All right, the queen c seven. Very knight f six. Now, if he comes to c four automatically, I'm automatically hitting b five. All right, if he get with h three. Now we hit g five. So we good. We're golden right now. Yeah, but if he does knight c4, I'm automatically hitting d5. Knight f8. So far, we're doing really good on time. See, this is why... Black line is good because you could beat a lot of players because a lot of them don't really know the opening that well. And they think a lot, trying to figure out what you're about to do. I don't think they really know the setup. Now G4 is coming, which is what we're threatening. And I wouldn't be surprised if, oh, he doesn't do that. Okay. Um, In this position, will we still do G4? That is a question. Will we still do G4? Hmm. I kind of like G4, though. Uh, yeah, we're just going to do it. Oh, wow. That was a shock. I guess he didn't think I was going to go G4, I guess. So that was, um, yeah. So he's probably smacking the stuff right now. All right, so we're just gonna go bishop captures um h three. All right, so he wants to get away, but see the thing is, when y'all play this game, you don't want to just you know let your uh, you don't want to let go of the position. You want to attack them as much as possible, you know, get the advantage and everything, and, you know, be good to go. That's what you want to do. But we want to play at our own time. All right, so how we want to do this? So we're just going to go rook g2 check. I guess he thought I was going to do this, but that wasn't the case. We just want to rook g2. And then we're just going to hop on queen h3 technique. That's how we do it. You know? So, that's a black line for y'all. Alright, so. 
so far, y'all, like, I'm, I'm feeling good, though, you know what I mean? So, like I said, if I lose or whatever, like I said, this is live, so, hey, I'm not going to, you know. All right, so he's playing that. So we're just going to, I guess we're just going to do the black line with um, white pieces, I guess. That's all we're going to do. All right, this should be two. See how this goes. Okay, so we'll go H3. Okay, y'all. Uh, in, in in this role, this is going to be... So, usually, normally, you guys, I would normally do Knight F3 and all that other jazz and everything. But in this position, I was reading this something with um my system with by Aaron Nizovich. And I think if you get a position like this, you got to go D4 and then hit E5. I just think you just got to do that because now you're putting a lot of pressure, you know, um, in the center and things like that. Uh, I think it looks uh, very great for white. So, like I said, cer certain things you just have to, certain things you just have to do. You have to uh, know like certain ideas and things like that. But I think in this position, you have to, you kind of have to uh, do these type of moves. So like even right now, like Queen A4, this knight is pinned. My center, my pawn formation is like so good right now. And I'm hitting Queen captures on A7. Um, potentially capturing this square bishop. So these are these are things that I'm looking at. Um obviously, y'all, you don't want to go bishop captures a6 because he has um uh, rook a8. So obviously that's not what we're going to do. Um so we, we would never uh do something like that. Okay, so that's fine. We'll just go uh, queen d1. He blocks it up. That's fine. He can block it up all he wants. But I do have a4. Uh, instead of g4, I probably should have went a4 first. Um, I probably should have did that. Um, we're going to go a4 first. And, 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 the whole, and the whole point of a4 is, you know, we know potentially he can just go b4, or things, which is fine. But the whole point is with a4 here and the rook behind it, you know, we're just um, locking uh, his position down. And that's pretty much all we're doing. So if he goes B3, it, he's pretty much locking it even more. So it doesn't really matter. So we just go Rook G1. You know, probably like, so what is the plan for this one? All right, so the plan for this one, um, all right, we'll just go Bishop D2. Um... Yeah, just go B capture C three. We'll do that. Okay, so that, so he's he's doing that. We're gonna move this king out the way. Okay, so he he's getting in there. So what we're gonna do? Hmm. This is an interesting. Man, we'll just go queen c1. So that, that point is going to be lost. But no matter what he takes it with, I'm going bishop d1. We're just playing. So bishop d1. Uh, another thing I want to do, I want to get rid of this um, dark square bishop, which is a uh, kind of like a pain. So that's something that I do want to do. We'll just go rook b1. We don't want him to control the b file. So we'll take, and obviously he just can't just take this pawn because of the check on queen b8. Which is something you just can't do like that. So and I'll probably just still come here anyway. And then hmm. all right, time is running out, so that's kinda like killing everything right now.
So now I got to move fast, y'all. All right, so. Queen C8. Really gonna bring me up. But that's what's fine because I wanted this um light square bishop. So I I moved him. I maneuvered so where he can um move and stuff. So that's all I was doing. So G five. So it's gonna go bishop captures. We're gonna take this and then get the square. Bishop F six. Take. We'll take G five. Uh, check. If I could get this in time, that would be awesome. I just don't know how much I can get them here. And I should be good on this. Crazy, y'all. Uh. Crazy, crazy, crazy. And then he seven and check me. Wow, guys, <laughs> guys, this was like so crazy, man. Very crazy. I I I gotta show y'all this though. I have I have to show y'all what what I'm talking about. Um, in this position. All right. I want I want y'all to get this. All right, guys. So. What y'all just saw, um, like I said, and this is why I really want y'all to um, read the My System book because it really talks about, you know, the center uh, mobilization and, you know, getting the uh, open files and things like that. So I took myself back to the basics and everything. So the whole point of it was when he went rook b8, I couldn't just let this rook be here, you know, so... When y'all be in a position like that, y'all have to immediately grab that file. It is imperative you do that. A lot of masters know this and everything. When they play other lower rated players, they know about the open rook file. And you, if you leave that rook on the open file for a long time, they can gradually um, bring their forces in and start um, doing some attacks. So that's why I automatically go um, rook b1. Now, maybe a good move for um, his opponent probably would have been like maybe queen c7. To, to still keep that file. And obviously, he must didn't know the techniques of open files, which is why he automatically gave me this this um, this um file. So he gave it to me with the queen, all right? But even with that, um he could have did, like, maybe queen b6 or whatever, exchange off the queens and stuff. Um, and maybe because it, he probably would have advanced because he had a pass point, but this is why y'all have to know um, techniques. So, but he went king f8, getting himself to the speak, uh, say, trying to get to the self to safe space, but that wasn't the case. So I go queen b8, and then after king g7, h4, you know, already trying to, um, you know, break, pretty much a pawn star and trying to open up something, you know. Um, he goes queen b um, b6. I didn't want to exchange. Now this is the thing. This is this is a technique that I want to share with y'all of what I was thinking in my mind. In my mind. I know he wants to trade queens, right? I, I know that wholeheartedly because he has a pass point. So the, the, the technique is you want to put this queen in a way where he's defending himself with the bishop, but at the same time, leave this knight uh, undefended, which is um, the whole point, what I wanted to do. Um, So when I came here, let me go to analysis for y'all. So when I came here and everything, he, the blunder was he did um, queen b7. And that was a blunder because then that's when I took his queen. He took back, as y'all already saw, as y'all saw, I take, he takes, and he comes here. Now, look at this, though. I was also looking at this move when I did queen c8. I mean, I did see this move, y'all. I, I did see knight f6, but he didn't do it. Um... And honestly, after this move, I'm not really sure if I could have really did any. I don't know if I could have really got out of that, to be honest with y'all. Um, except for, yes, I would take back. Obviously, he's not going to take with the king because I'll take his rook. But if he takes with the um the bishop, you know, where could my queen actually go? Did I have any other play? Um, 
that, that and, and that was kind of like my thought like what, what could I do in this position um the only thing that I kind of saw y'all was maybe probably Bishop catches a6 maybe but he doesn't have to really take he can just go king eight seven so um that wouldn't really work um or maybe knight h5 maybe because now if he goes king h7 then i'll take his um bishop with a check and um i might actually be um okay he may be okay but if he goes king h7 yeah if he goes king h7 let's look if he goes king h7 he goes king g7 um I was thinking about to catch a seven. So yeah, so that will actually um wow. See, this is this is why I like to analyze this stuff. So it doesn't really matter what he does. Um if he does take um uh, this bishop, then obviously I'm gonna take his rook. If he takes with this knight, then I'm gonna have to go queen catches h eight. Wow. Yo, guys, maybe this would have been um crazy, y'all. Uh. Maybe this would have been pretty crazy, y'all, uh, after knight h5. But then again, I still don't know, y'all, because even after if he takes, what do I have after g catches h5? Do Could I still do anything? And yes, y'all. <laughs> you guys, y'all see, y'all see this? Y'all see this? Guys, let's see. This is why I like playing the black line because certain stuff like this, even when you feel like you're about to lose or whatever, or feel like your queen about to get trapped, there's always moves out there. That's why y'all gotta study y'all tactics. There's it's a lot of stuff in here, man. So yeah, y'all. So if, if that was the case, you know, you know, th th there's always ways and everything. But uh, this is this is crazy, y'all. So this was um. I think I played it pretty well. I think I, I thought I played it pretty well, but y'all, y'all be the judge of that. Um, but anyway, y'all. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. I definitely wanted to, you know, get back and, you know, really, you know, um, show y'all, you know, how I'm progressing and everything, things like that. And as y'all see, I'm getting closer, um, to my tw actually four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, so I'm at twenty two ninety eight right now, two points away from twenty three hundred. Getting my twenty three hundred back. Um, and everything, but um, I will get back on and start improving or studying and things like that. But um, if y'all enjoyed this video, please like, please share, please comment. Definitely know what um what y'all think of this video, and also y'all don't forget to subscribe, y'all. Alright, y'all, peace.